When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. Sometimes we've just been hanging around with losers for far too long. Develop the mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average life, the easy life. But it really doesn't matter what most people do, what do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will not listen to the average. You will always, I mean always listen to the winner in you. Believe in yourself when no one else does. Believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time. Some of you are going into the fight of your life. Fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I am telling you, do not quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down, but if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward and it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? You do! Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. When you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. There's a few elements here. The first is that you should always work hard and give your best. It doesn't matter what you're doing in life. If you always give your best, you will get much better results than if you don't. Giving 100% in everything you do always leads you to greater things in life. The workers who go above and beyond in this world are almost always rewarded with better positions and pay raises. Those who train harder, study harder, and give more of themselves will always get more out of their life than those who take it easy. That's just common sense. So give your best. Give everything you have to get your best possible result. And if it doesn't work out, at least you will have the pride of knowing you gave it your best shot. At worst, you will have learned as much as you can along the way, and those who are committed to learn more in life will always be the same people who earn more and become more. Second thing I have to say is you're young. Far too young to stress out. Leave that crap for later in life when you have kids and bills to pay. For now, just do your best. Work hard and see what happens. Your path will reveal itself in time. 
when you really know what you want to do with your life, when you find something you must do, that is when you must lock in and say, this is it. That is when you tell yourself, I'm all in. One failed test doesn't mean jack in the real world. Do you know how many successful people fail tests in school? Every one of them. It's normal. But guess what? Those successful people didn't give up, and that is the key. They kept working on becoming better themselves, better in everything they do. See, when you get out on that field of life, no one wants a guy who passed every test. They want a guy who's willing to fight for his dream. The one who had the character to fight back after failing. That guy is much more valuable in the real world than someone with book knowledge. So work on yourself. Work on your education, yes, but work on yourself just as much. Build some mental strength. It's much more important than passing a test. You cannot win at life if you're losing in your mind. If your mind is strong, then your life will be strong. didn't come this far to only come this far. I hear some people saying things like, when I make it, when I get to the top, I'll keep working hard until I get to the top, until I reach my goal. Let me tell you something. There is no end. Winners never stop. If you reach a goal, set a bigger goal. If you get to the top of the mountain, find a bigger mountain. It's the journey. The continued pursuit of growth, the constant seeking of improvement, the challenge, that's what makes life great. That's what makes a fulfilled life. I didn't come this far to only come this far. When I get this goal, I'll seek more. Not more things, more growth. Constantly pushing myself to be better. I didn't come this far to only come this far. I came this far so I could be strong enough to go further. So I'll be good enough to push myself hard. I'm only getting started. This is just the beginning. I'm proud of my achievements, but that doesn't mean I'll settle for them. Proud, but never satisfied. Proud, but forever home. Proud and always ready. Proud, but pushing. Push it for more, push it for great. A true winner doesn't seek only the title. A true winner seeks growth. A true winner seeks greatness. It's the journey, it's the challenge. Don't tell me it's over, I'm just getting warmed up. If the journey wasn't challenging, the destination wouldn't be rewarded. It's the challenge that makes the greatness. You can't have a champion athlete without great competitors pushing them all the way. You can't have the greatest of all time without champions pushing them all the way. It's the journey, the process that makes the greatness. If you reach your goal, set a bigger goal. If you get to the top of the mountain, find a bigger mountain. Most people don't reach their dream, not because of failure. Most people don't live their dream because they give up. You see, it's not the failure that stops us, but that most stop at their first failure. Those who succeed don't stop at one failure. They don't stop at 10 failures. They don't stop at 100, 1,000, or a million. They say, this is my goal and I will do whatever it takes to achieve it. I will learn the lessons from any failures. I will learn faster. I will work harder. I will work smarter. And I will not quit until my dream is a reality. That's the difference between success and failure. Failure makes winners stronger. Failure makes winners hungrier. But it makes most give up. It makes most feel worthless. Winners don't enjoy failure, 
but they would never let failure stop them. Next time you encounter failure, you got to remember every great thing on this planet is here because the Creator learned what did work, but learned more from what did not work. When we are kids, we don't stop at failure. When we first learn to ride a bike, it's failure after failure. We get knocked down time after time, but we get up and push forward until we achieve our goal of riding the bike. But then, we get old, and most of us get weak. We are too soft to get back on the bike. We come up with excuses. It must not be for me. No, you just soft. No, you just lazy. Tell yourself the truth. Get back on the bike. Learn why you fail, and make sure you don't fall again. Make sure you are stronger for having the lesson. Failure is not the end of your story. It is the start of your comeback story. If failure was the end of your story, there would be no greats. Greats like Jordan, greats like Einstein, like Edison, like Oprah Winfrey. If these people stopped at failure, the world would not be filled with their greatness as it is today. Failure is nothing but a lesson to the winner. Failure is nothing but motivation to the winner. Failure is fuel. No one likes to fail, but the difference between those that win and those that lose in life is the winner decides a better meaning for their failure. They decide never again. They declare, I will be better next time. Don't let failure stop you. Let it grow you. Let it develop you. Failure is not the end, it's just the start. The start of your comeback story. The only way you can call it a failure is if you quit. If you keep going, it's only a hurdle, one you will overcome. The only way you can fail is if you quit. Never quit, keep pushing, you will get there in the end. Failure doesn't exist in the mind of champions. All it does is push them to a higher level. Are you a champion? Will you accept failure or keep going? Learn the lessons, apply the lessons, come out stronger than before and keep going. Some people fear failure so much, they never even try, they never even stop. Some people give up right when they're about to succeed. They were so close, but they threw in the towel. Don't let that be you. Thomas Edison didn't fail. He found 10,000 ways that did not work. Guess what? He only needed one way that did work. Einstein said, failure is success in progress. Failure is just one more way not to do something. Keep going and you will succeed. Keep going and you will succeed. Failure is not the end of your story. It is the start of your comeback story. If you use failure as fuel, you can't really fail. If you use it as motivation, you cannot be defeated in the long term. If you use it to drive you, use it to make you, it can never break you. If you never accept defeat, you can never fail. Refuse to be defeated. Refuse to be defeated. Learn the lesson, find a new path, and a different way to your goal. There's always a way.
Excuses are for the weak. Responsibility is for the strong. Today is the day you give up the story. The story you made up about why you aren't there yet. The story you made up about why you can't do it. The story you made up about why you are not good enough. Today, you will give up that story. Today, there are no excuses. Today, I make the commitment. Today, I know I am the creator. The creator of my life experience. Today, I know that I decide. I decide how I react to challenges. I don't give up. I don't give in. I accept responsibility for my circumstances. I make no excuses. I focus on what can be done. And I make things happen. Failures suffer setbacks and stop growing. Winners suffer setbacks and keep going. When challenges appear, I keep going. When I look back at my life in 10 years, I want to know I chose my life. I didn't settle for it. When I look back, I will know that I made no excuses. And because of that, I have no regrets. No excuses, no procrastination, no hesitation, no doubt, no regrets. It's time to take my life to the next level. No more excuses, no more hesitation. I will reach my goals. I believe, I believe. Things aren't always going to work out as planned. That's life. None of us can escape life's challenges and hardships. What separates those who succeed and those who fail is how we respond to life's challenges. The strong make no excuses. I am strong. You are strong. We make no excuses. No matter how hard it gets, we ask, how can we use this? How can we win? We win because we make no excuses. <laughs>